So this is Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Place two blobs on both eyes and rub it in, rub it in, rub it in. Blend it in. I've shown you guys before how I do this in my foundation routine, which I'll link down below. And then next I use Benefits Professional, which is uh, a pore minimizing balm onto my skin. I use it as like a primer as well as a minimizer. Next I'm using Bourjois Happy Light Foundation in, I can't remember, what does that say? Number 53. Been loving this foundation recently, it was in my favourites. Shake, 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 squirt, squirt, two squirts. And then I blob it all over my face as I've shown before. And yes, I make a lot of weird faces in this entire video as I generally do all the time when I am putting on my foundation. Don't I look gorgeous? Yes, so yep, yeah, that's it. All over the place, everywhere I can have a bit of space. The Amazing Beauty Blender, use the fat side and then I push it all into my skin, blend it out, it gives an amazing natural flawless finish. So I do this all over my face, blending every little bit out into the hairline, tiny bit left over, just rub it into the cheeks which is where I generally need more coverage because I have a lot of like redness on my cheeks and then just push it in again with the beauty blender camera check camera check which I will do often <laughs> uh, yeah so that is that with the foundation next is the studio finish concealer I've used NC 42 but my color is NC 40 I'm just finishing this off again into places I have a little bit of redness above the lip a little bit for some reason around the sides of the nose and then on my other cheek as well and then again I will use my beauty blender to push it into the skin a nice and natural looking finish so that there are no streaks or patchiness or everything everything kind of blends nicely and seamlessly together love the beauty blender and yes oh more more faces more weird faces go shell next is the MAC Pro Pro uh, Longwear Concealer in NC35, which I blob and then I place it under both eyes. So this is one shade lighter than my normal MAC colour, which is NC40, to give the whole brightening effect underneath the eyes, but not too much so that it looks really, really strange. And then I will use the corner of the Beauty Blender to now push it into the skin underneath the eyes. This is probably the best thing that I've ever used under the eyes because I don't have to worry about using my fingers. I think at some point I do poke myself in the eye because I am not, uh, yeah, see, poke myself in the eye, stupid. For the rest of the video that was bugging me, not that you'll realize. But yeah, it gives a nice natural finish under the eyes and it's really good at getting right into the corner. So you can see that it's nicely blended in. Camera check, camera check. Yep, still need to do the sides. There we go. See, sorry, my mirror was quite a bit of a distance away. So that is that for the concealer. Ben Nye Banana Powder and a Sigma brush. Can't remember which one, but I will list it below. Sigma brushes are the best. So that is what I am using in this video all over the face under the eyes oh whacked my computer yep buff 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 so that it sets the foundation in place nicely there we go under the eyes sets the uh, concealer under the eyes so there's no creasing not that you get any creasing with this amazing concealer of mine then next as always I will be using my Carmex lip balm and that I will be placing under the on top of my lips to moisturize them so that while I'm applying the rest of my makeup they're making my lips nice and soft really now this is Max Brulee which I will be using with a Sigma E40 tapered blending brush just to give a nice even base over my eyes 
Um, I generally always do this so that it's nice and smooth for me to use. Um, as in on my eyelids is nice and smooth and kind of one color because even with the primer it can become a little bit patchy that is texture eyeshadow by Mac which is a lovely mid-tone brown and a Mac 224 blending brush texture is one of my favorite eyeshadows I keep it in my makeup bag all the time and I'm just doing windshield wiper motions in my crease and my upper crease as well so that this can give my eyes a nice definition to them and it's a nice transition color between colors so that it keeps everything nice and like blended nicely together and make sure you flick off any excess as well this is why I generally always do that so I don't really get any fallout so just blend it backwards and forwards backwards and forwards until you are happy with the amount that you've placed on don't put loads and loads on the brush you can always slowly blend it up build it up camera check as always just to make sure that I've not put more on one eye than the other eye because it can happen when you don't realize it the camera check yep keep blending keep blending keep blending carry on blending and now this is Foley eyeshadow again by Mac which is like a reddish brown which is slightly darker than uh, that brush uh, sorry that eyeshadow that I was just using and the brush that I'm using is a Zoeva 228 crease brush which is absolutely amazing and I am doing it in the lower part of my crease so just underneath the texture but it still blends in nicely with uh, with the texture itself this is to give my eyes a little bit more depth and even more definition before I apply the base color onto the eyelid. So you can see I'm starting it right at the outer corner and dragging it in, but I'm not dragging it in the entire way. I'm dragging it in about three quarters. Texture I dragged in the entire way. Again, camera check to make sure that I've not put on more on one eye than the other eye because my mirror is a bit of a distance away. There we go, looking happy with that I think. A little bit backwards and forwards a little bit more. Using the 224 brush to kind of blend it all together so it's nice and lovely looking. Now this is Gold Mine Eyeshadow again by MAC, which is a lovely gold, gold color really. And that is the MAC 212 flat shader brush. So I'm just basically packing it onto my entire eyelid not going completely into the corner to cover the foley and texture but just about three quarters of the way onto the eyelid and I've put it on I wouldn't say I've packed it on loads but I'd say I've packed it on about medium kind of uh, strength because I don't want the eyes otherwise I would have put like a gold base underneath if I wanted it to stand out a bit more but I didn't for this look so again just packing it on onto the eye not blending it just literally placing it onto the eye pressing it onto the eyeballs happy with that shell yep and again go back with the 224 brush with nothing actually on it just blending everything nicely together with shimmery colors as well try not to blend too much otherwise you may end up dragging it on top this is embark which is a dark dark brown eyeshadow and i'm using the Sigma small tapered blending brush E45 and I'm literally just drawing out my outer V and dragging it in slightly this is to give my eye even more of a contoured look um, making it a bit darker but I didn't want to make it super super dark otherwise I would have used carbon by MAC which is a black so literally just blending it into the foley so you can see texture I've dragged in the whole way foley I've dragged in three quarters of the way and then with the embark I've dragged it in only a quarter of the way and then I've kind of just pushed it into the outer V and then dragged it inwards at blending as I go along blending is obviously key for any eye makeup look again back in with the 224 with nothing on it just to kind of blend everything nicely together so that there are no harsh lines and everything kind of looks nicely and sits nicely together camera check smile yep see there you go closer look of how it looks just there's no harm in constantly blending 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 until you feel comfortable now this is rice paper which is like a beigey gold color and I'm just using another 224 brush by MAC to place it underneath the brows as a highlight 
and to blend it in nicely with the texture because it's a lovely blending brush you can use this on the eyes on the eyelids or wherever you want so that's it for the eyeshadow now I'm using L'Oreal super liner black liqueur which is a liquid liner as you can see I start from the inwards and I make my way out that's generally how I always do my eyeliner and <clears throat> these eyeliners L'Oreal eyeliners are great but I generally like the color to be very very opaque and I've just done a really small flick this time I normally do a much bigger flick but for this look I felt like just doing a baby flick see there we go showing you guys this is how it looks it looks great yep yeah, lovely lovely and now we will attempt to try and get the same on the other side I'm really bad when it comes to eyeliner one eye is always perfect and the other one is just not perfect but that's just life, what can you do? And there we go, and that is the finished eyes. Two tiny little flicks. And camera check, happy show? Yeah, we are happy. Now, I think this was Foley eyeshadow. Yes, it was Foley, because my Anastasia brow is just decided to finish on me there and then, so I just picked up any of the ones that were lying there. And that is a Coastal Scents BRC S11 tiny little brush, which I'm just using to just drag through my eyebrows a little bit. Generally, I wouldn't use this, but literally my brow is finished as I was just about to make it. Actually, it's not finished, it's just kind of stuck in the tube, so I couldn't get it out. Uh, but I normally use Anastasia Brow is in Brunette to just neaten up my eyeshadow, um, my eyebrows and fill in any gaps, just darken them slightly to make them a little bit more defined. I generally don't do too much to my brows because they're, well, they're, they're alright on their own. Just brushing it through with the other end of the brow is, well, that's at least all what was left from it. Now this is Urban Decay's, one of their 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencils in El Dorado, which is a bright gold. So I'm just literally running it underneath the lash line so I can tie in the look together. I'm dragging it all the way backwards and forwards. Now I'm using Max uh, Cold Power Pencil in Feline, which is a black, blacker than black eyeliner onto my waterline. Now this one that I'm using is Amber Lights on a little pencil brush and I'm just putting it onto my tear duct area to brighten up the eyes a little bit more. Now we are using L'Oreal's Volume Million Lashes Noir Excess Mascara. Absolutely love L'Oreal's mascaras. They're the best drugstore brand, I think. Yep, they're absolutely amazing. Then do the bottom lashes as well. And oh, look, I blobbed on my face. Oops, happens. What can you do? Just literally wipe it off a little bit with your finger. Uh, yeah, so doing your bottom lashes really, really opens up the eyes, gives it that dull look. Um, yeah, Charlena. Okay. So next is NARS Casino Bronzer, which I'm going to use as a contour. Nearly finished. These ones are really powdery, so they finish really quickly. And I'm using a MAC 165 brush. It's a tapered brush, which is really good for contouring. Placing it in the cheekbones, just blending it in into like a C shape, up into the hairline slightly. I don't do too much around my hairline because I've got a, quite a small forehead. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what's with the random faces, man? And again, on the other side, just literally place it, make the weird face that you do to bring out your cheekbones and then just blend it in, blend it in. This uh, bronzer is quite dark and I went a little bit heavy, so I had to brush off some of it afterwards. Just do a little bit around the jawline and everything to kind of tie it all together. And doing that also blends out any foundation lines or anything that may be creeping around underneath that you can't see. This is now the Betty Luminizer bronzer by The Balm. It's brand new, it's the first time I'm actually using it. So it's a really nice, a dark bronze shimmery color. Just placing it onto my the apples of my cheeks and dragging it backwards. Check, check. And then do the same again. The reason I'm checking it is because, like I said, I just literally opened it now. So it was the first time I've ever used it. And I do have to say I'm absolutely loving this bronze color. It's really, really pretty. Little bit on the nose, it's the places that generally the sun would touch. And next is 
the MAC Semi Precious Pearl Mineralized Skin Finish on just a little stippling brush, a MAC 120 something. Uh, placing it on the arch of the cheekbone and a little bit on the nose to tie it all together giving you like a nice really golden glowing kind of look that matches the eyes really nicely now I'm using Maybelline's color sensational lip liner in intense pink just following the natural line of my lip line I don't go outside it because I've got quite full lips if I go any out any like outside it at all I look like a I've been punched in the mouth I've got duck face or one of them weird looks and this is after I've blotted off the Carmex lip balm and then on top of this I'm using Urban Decay's Revolution lipstick in turn on which is like a brightish pink I think it looks really nice with the gold eyes this I would kind of wear more for a going out in the evening look if I was to wear these eyes in the daytime which you can I probably have a little bit more muted down on the lips so this is the finished look, now I'm going to make lots of strange faces, posing faces, weird faces, but this is the finished look, um, hope you enjoyed it, um, I generally don't do tutorials so this is kind of one of my first ones in a very 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 long time so please be kind, criticise all you want but just criticise nicely, I'll take it constructively and I hope you enjoyed the video, take care all of you guys and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye.